I'm Scott Owl Miller. It's the 15th of December 2022 and this is my vlog of daily life normally in Nicaragua but I'm filming today in Geneseo, New York where it is um snowing and pretty cold. I'm recording this a couple days in the future uh, so today pretty much we're going to be doing a recap of our travel and I'm going to keep this on the short side because one I have to hold the camera in my hand. I don't have a way to put it on a tripod or anything uh, because I don't have anything with me and uh it's snowing on me. It's really cold. I don't have a coat or anything, and I'm used to the weather in Nicaragua. So I'm cold. We're going to do this fast. But luckily, this is the GoPro 11. First of all, it has the hydrophobic uh, lens. So in theory, the snow will not be able to stick to it in any way. And it has the Enduro battery, which makes it uh, work really, really well in the cold, which it is. It's really cold. Cold, cold, cold. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too loud as I zipped up my fleece some. I just realized that the microphone is there. All right, so today's the 15th and it is our big travel day. But before, I'm going to do a little bit about what happened yesterday because... Uh, if you follow the show, I recorded that one a day in advance so that at least one I could get it posted because otherwise we just, we would fall behind and we needed to get it up. Uh, but I think this whole story of the travel is good for those who are looking at coming to Nicaragua, potentially via Liberia, Costa Rica, uh, because it is such a potentially handled, handy travel path and kind of knowing what that's like. So we ended up being lucky uh, that Paul ended up being able to drive us. If you were watching my shorts, uh, he was feeling pretty sick and didn't know if he was going to be able to drive. So we're really worried that we were going to be doing that without him. And we were trying to find a driver and failed to do so. So at the last minute, he decided that he would do the driving uh, anyway. So uh, we left at about five o'clock in the morning, uh, left the dogs with Yao and did the four and a half hour drive to Pinas Blancas uh, border crossing into Costa Rica. That went really smooth, very little traffic. We stopped on the way in Hinotepe and picked up breakfast uh, at a little cafe downtown there. That was quite good. We enjoyed our breakfast and I got uh, some shorts filmed there uh, pretty quickly and then we drove on down to the border. Wow, I'm cold. And uh, one of the problems of living in Nicaragua is when you go anywhere else, everything's really cold. You really, you really adapt pretty quickly to being in the warm weather all the time. Uh, and I mean, I grew up, you know, right here, uh, but I've, I'm not used to it anymore. Uh, so border crossing went really smoothly. Going into Costa Rica generally is quite smooth. We had really no line at the Nicaragua border uh, going out. You always scan your baggage as you leave. We went into Costa Rica, very little line there, five minutes maybe. Uh, we had a taxi waiting for us. That was $80. Yes, some people have asked what service we use. I will try to get that information from Dominica and post it down below. Fingers crossed I do that. If I don't do that, remind me. I will try to get that for y'all. And uh, taxi drove us to our hotel. We decided to take it really nice and easy. We're staying at the Hilton Garden Inn, which is directly across from the Liberia Airport or Guanacaste Airport, uh, there in, which is actually halfway, almost exactly, halfway between downtown Liberia and the coast. So it's pretty accessible if you're looking uh, to be able to get to the coast but still have an, air, uh, an airport nearby. It really does work well, so so that's pretty pretty handy. The Hilton Garden Inn is straight across the road. So nice. We're very very happy uh, with that location, and it was uh, 130 dollars for us, and we'll absolutely use them again. We're also Hilton members, Hilton, Hilton Honors members, and have been for a long time. So I mean, we only have silver, but. It does give us a couple benefits and our points do add up. Uh, and so using them is always a slight benefit. We, we've just over the years chosen Hilton um, as our one hotel from the US to maintain points with. So we, some people spread it out among different programs. We really focus on just one and make an effort. Sometimes we pay a little bit more, but we're, we use US hotels so seldom that having a single one that we use that way really does work out and gives us a fair number of points uh, and lets us really use a membership program. So it works out for us, it makes sense. And uh, so we got in there uh, and it was, it was really um, quite early. By the time we were arriving, it was, I think, uh, like 1.30 or two o'clock. Uh, so it was, it was not bad at all. We had plenty of time to get in and actually enjoy being at the hotel. There's a pool that we decided not to use. Luciana sometimes likes to go swimming, sometimes not. Um, she was thinking about it. At first she thought she would, but there was a bunch of adults there, no one swimming, and she was kind of like, ah, not, not what she really wanted to do. 
uh, but we did end up kind of mid-afternoon. We knew we were kind of hungry and uh, Liesl wanted to nap, so she just hung out in the room. Luciana was, was peckish, and so Luciana and I were gonna go get food, but then Dominica thought it sounded good, so we went down to the restaurant in the Hilton and, and ordered some food there. They actually had a really nice restaurant, um, very good overall menu, and uh, we got some really nice food. And, and there was a lot of food that we were interested in trying that we didn't, uh, so that was good. Uh, we didn't go for anything big. It was a pretty small meal overall. Uh, really, I just got a burger, and as we came into town, I forgot to mention, as we came into town, we stopped at the Burger King. Uh, so this was this is a few hours before uh, we swung into Burger King and got. Ooh, I don't know where the light is good here. Um, I have. I have to show the sky. There's nothing. It's just pure gray. There's no clouds. There's no sun. There's no directions. It's all just gray. And uh, my hands are super cold. I don't have gloves, by the way. Um, we stopped into Burger King to get the veggie burgers because we love Burger King uh, veggie whoppers. And the, our, our taxi driver decided to take us through the drive through Oh, what a problem. Dominica ordered in perfectly good Spanish. It was absolutely clear. They could not figure anything out. She had to place the order no less than a dozen times, literally. Uh, they did get it right in the end, but it was it was a struggle. It was there was no first of all, just go in. Um, but also they they were not able to understand very clear Spanish. It was very strange. It was as if they didn't understand their own menu. Um, and I'm sure very few people get veggie whoppers there, but come on, it was it was a bit much. And uh, so so we got this meal at the Hilton a few hours later, uh, but we knew we wanted to go out for Indian in Liberia because uh, we consistently are able to get really good Indian food in Costa Rica and we really can't find it in Nicaragua. So that's a big deal for us. All of us really like Indian and we look forward to it. And there's a couple places in Liberia and we wanted to try it. And we wanted to really experience downtown Liberia because uh, we hadn't done that yet. So uh, we had this light meal in the afternoon uh, there at the hotel, then went back, hung out for several hours. I worked on some stuff. We just did some some video work or just napping or whatever, hung out in the hotel room. And then uh, in late in the evening at about, um, I wanna say 8.30, we went out for the very, very end of, of seating at restaurants in Liberia. Uh, we went to Masala uh, by taxi. So we called an Uber um, and of course the first two Ubers, I think, canceled on us, just like we've had experiences in the past there in Costa Rica. Finally, we got an Uber. They took us uh, down to Masala, um, which worked out fine. Although I have to say the Uber, the entire way smelled of farts. <laughs> it was really strong. Other than that, it was great, but it really reeked of farts. And uh, we went to Masala, had a really good dinner, another amazing Indian meal there in Costa Rica. It was delicious and filling, and we had way too much. We brought a bunch of leftovers home. And then when we tried to come home, uh, right as they were closing, no Uber would take us. And we went Uber after Uber, and they would cancel, and then no one would pick us up. And we started walking. We walked basically all the way back to the Burger King from Masala. Look it up on a map if you want to see how far that is. And um, uh, when we did that, we did finally get an Uber once we were down to that part of town and they brought us back to the hotel and we just went to bed at that point. And then um, today, so today is the 15th, that was the 14th. Today on the 15th, we're gonna get to in just a second, I am too cold to keep talking right now. I'm gonna pick up the mail from my dad and start walking back and hopefully keep things going once my hand has warmed up just a little bit. <laughs> All right, got my dad's Christmas cards here, and I'm heading back to his place in the snow. Oh, man, this is cold. I think it's only like negative four Celsius, but wow. All right, so today is the 15th, and today's actual adventure was actually probably less exciting than yesterday's. We woke up in the Hilton Garden and decided we wanted to get breakfast. Not in the hotel, because that's less exciting, although that does look nice. Uh, we wanted to go to a place called Monks and Capra, uh, which is a cafe right around the corner. It just they, the food online looked really good. The pictures looked good. Uh, so we went out for a walk once everyone was awake. It was actually mid-morning. We're in no big hurry because uh, we don't need to take our shuttle till 11.45. Uh, to head over to the airport. And that'll get us there three hours early uh, with a couple minutes to spare. So we're being really generous, but we have nothing else to do. So there's no reason not to be really early. There's no reason not to go out for breakfast. We have lots of time. Our flight is at three or just after. So we went to Monks and Capra, and I have to say, coffee and food, absolutely amazing. Everybody loved what they got, no matter what it was. 
completely fantastic. We were very, very happy and the coffee was amazing. Um, a really cute little space, not far from the hotel. Uh, our breakfast was, however, $82, which really caught us off guard because in general, Costa Rica is pretty affordable um, and $82 is pretty expensive even for the United States for a cafe breakfast. So that was a little bit surprising, but overall it was, uh, it was just amazing and I'm kind of glad we went. Anyway, uh, but from there, we kind of we kind of hung out and chilled for a bit, and then it was really time to get back to the hotel and pack up. So we walked back, uh, leisurely packed up, and got down to the lobby so that we could catch our 11:45 shuttle. They actually were so busy that we couldn't get on the 11:45 and got on the noon shuttle, which was fine. We had lots of time, uh, but that one was packed. So had we not been there, we could have ended up even later. Still would have been okay, but there's it's there's a reason you want to build in some of that time to those flights there's just too much to go wrong when you're flying so we uh, uh we we got to the airport got through security no issues whatsoever got to our gate and just hung out for a long time and that was really that was our game plan we wanted to make sure we were at the airport we wanted to make sure we had time to just relax and not have to worry we're, we're going internationally to the u.s and so there's just so much to go wrong um so I mean, it's just it's not the time to to try to cut it close right and and we've learned our lesson over the years that we just don't want to do that we want to be at the airport we want to be relaxed and bored we really do we want to be bored because that means everything's going okay so we sat at the airport our flight was on time we're flying southwest directly to houston hobby and uh, we took off just after three o'clock everything went smooth the flight was great um, i listened and finished my book why is for yesterday the final book in the sue grafton uh kinsey milhone murder series or mystery series that i've been reading since about 1999 or 2000 when i got as for alibi on physical cd uh, so that was exciting to finish up that series that I've been reading for so long. Uh, our flight got in um, on time to Houston Hobby. Uh, we did have a little bit of a, a delay getting through um, uh, immigration, nothing, just, just had to use a bathroom and that ended up putting us behind a whole bunch of flights and we almost had our luggage disappear because we took too long, uh, but we got through, no problems. Dominica's parents picked us up. Uh, they pulled up right as we were getting done with our luggage, so the timing was absolutely perfect. Uh, got right into their Mazda, drove to the Grice's house, got really one to two hours to hang out with the family, uh, which was pretty cool. We got to see everybody and talk to them for a little bit, drop off our stuff, find what uh, winter clothes we could, and that was about it, and then head to bed. We are, um, and on the way home, we picked up, I'm gonna warm up just a little bit, sorry. It is so cold that I just can't stand out there anymore. So I'm gonna kind of stand in my dad's garage and uh, talk from here. But uh, we stopped and got on the way back Taco Bell and Subway uh, to take back to the house so we'd have something to eat, but it had to be fast food. We have so little time. Um, oh, I should mention while we were at the airport today waiting, uh, I picked up this hat uh, at Liberia. So I, I really like having one interesting hat. So I always wear a hat because I need to keep the sun off my head, or in this case, I'm too cold and I need a hat to keep me warm. Uh, but I like having interesting hats uh, for the show and these uh, national beer uh, hats the my my guy my gallo shirt uh, shirt hat from Guatemala uh, is quite popular the orange one and I have not managed to find a good Nicaraguan one in many years I, I'm on the lookout for the Tonya hat they exist so they're very hard to find I'm looking for that but so I got this uh, to, to wear on the show uh, that was my excuse anyway. And uh, uh, so we ate uh, a quick uh, meal there at the Grice's um, and then went to bed pretty early, about nine, maybe 10 o'clock. We have to be up just after two to catch our flight tomorrow. So we are going to be exhausted and it's gonna be um, a decently long morning of travel because we've got to get up and make it to New York. And Dominica is very stressed, worrying about the weather situation as there's a you know big blizzard coming across the U.S. Um, and we have to fly through Chicago Midway on our way to Buffalo. So there's a lot of opportunity for things to go wrong on this flight. A lot of places where delays could cause problems, where um, ice could cause problems, where, where uh, Buffalo may not be someplace we can land. There's just a lot we're worried about. And even once we get there, we have to rent a car and drive a, quite a long way, potentially in snow. Um, we're, we're worried a bit. So 
Uh, so she's a bit nervous. Um, we again want to get to the airport with lots and lots of time in the morning. Um, so that's what we're doing. Just going to bed early and uh, heading to the airport. But overall, this connection through Liberia, using the Hilton Garden Inn, for us using Southwest to Houston Hobby, which is a small, very easy airport, all of it is so incredibly easy and cost effective. Um, I think that it remains a really good flight path, even now that Managua has flights open again, and one will probably continue to use because we do like going into Costa Rica. We do like um, getting to hit the restaurants and do some of the Costa Rica things, even if it's not very much. It gives us a little bit, it's a little bit of variety, and, uh, and it still counts for us as days outside the US, so, so that's good for us, um, for those who follow our tax situation. And, um, and the flights into the US are so easy, so cheap, so just right to the exact place we want to go. Um, if those things match for you, this could be a path that remains very sensible for you. So consider that the Liberia flights may be a good, a good option for you as well. Um, but Managua now has flights again, and those make so many things so much easier. So also, also consider that. That was our day and our yesterday. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that button, those likes really do make a difference. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee, help keep me warm out here in the snow because I am frozen. I have hot coffee waiting for me, thanks to one of you. Upstairs, I'm gonna go drink that right now, warm up my hands a little bit, get this uploading. I hope you like how this looks. This is the new GoPro 11. We're gonna talk about that in future episodes when I'm not so cold. Uh, and I'm trying my best to keep these a little bit shorter. A number of people have mentioned that they're so long, but I seem to get more views when they're long, so I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Um, I'm torn, but right now I'm cold, so I'm gonna keep it short. And uh, if you could share this on social media, uh, tell your friends about the show, that does an awful lot. Thanks for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow.